Good morning, you amazing person, you. I hope you had a great night's sleep. It's Sandy Boucher here once again with today's reading from Honorary Indian. Today we're looking at the May 27th entry, and it's called Credit is Due. Often I am asked, how do I do it? Why am I happy all the time? How do I face each new day with a smile on my face? How did I get to be so strong? These questions are usually followed with the speakers listing off a whole list of things that have happened to them, and I'm left standing there with my mouth hanging open. My response, are you insane? Look at what you have survived, and you call me strong? Give yourself some credit. That's it. Why are we so quick to identify ourselves as victims? We have survived pains and hurts, trials and tribulations, and yes, we are exhausted. There is yet to be an athlete who has felt full of energy at the finish line. You did it. You gave your all. Now realize it. Admitting you are strong doesn't mean you're daring the gods. It means you are finally accepting the gifts the Creator gave you. Now, personally, I have survived many trials. Did I expect to face more? <laughs> Absolutely. Will I survive? Damn right I will. One of my favorite quotes of all time is, Stop telling God the size of your problems. Start telling your problems the size of your God. That's it. Simple. I have faith in the woman God created. I have faith that I have gifts to share. I have faith that I have something to offer. How do I stay so positive? Simple. By choice. If a negative emotion enters my mind, I stop it. If a friend is supposed to call and doesn't, do I allow myself to rant about ruined plans and wasted time? What would that serve? Instead, I find other things to do, say a little prayer, hoping she is all right, and I go about my day. If we were meant to meet up, we will. Anger has no place in my world, and neither does negativity. When someone tries to rain on my parade by pointing out all of the reasons why I should be miserable, I say a little prayer for them. It makes me sad when my happiness upsets someone else. I always wonder what drives them to want to ruin my day. Wouldn't it make more sense if they, are, if they use their energy to make their own day better? Funny the choices some make, but that is their path to walk. So I leave it be and simply pray one day they will find a brighter one to follow. Yes, today as I clean my little apartment, moving furniture away from the windows so that the beautiful spring sun can freely shine in, I give thanks for every hardship, for every trial that has shown me just how strong I am. My trials have shown me a smile is free and always my choice. Today, I focus on my gifts, my children, and my friends. Do I think of the money I do or do not have? No, that is irrelevant. The sunshine is free, and so is this day, so money has no bearing on my happiness. I will film this day with favorite music, conversations with people who make me smile, and maybe even a warm hug if I can get it. If I can't, well, I will just hug myself and congratulate myself on living out the gift of this day to its fullest. Today, my friend, I beg you to stop. Stop your whining. Stop your complaining. Stop being such a drag to your friends because you are, even if they don't say it. Be the one who spreads a smile today. There aren't enough of us, and God knows the grumpy team doesn't need any more help. Smile. Be happy. The reasons are there. Dig and find them before the sun goes down, and you realize you have lost another day. I hope that made you smile, my friend, and I hope you keep smiling right until the end of this day. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.